Hi guys, welcome to CA Inter Standard Costing MCQs. We are trying to make your concepts stronger. Join our Telegram channel. That will be good for you. So therefore, you don't miss out on any updates. Uh, new course demands that your MCQs knowledge is good. That's what we are trying to do. So the question for today is the standard most suitable from cost control point of view. Cost control, cost control, okay, is with standard. So the four options that are over here are normal standard, okay, B, theoretical standard, C is expected standard and D is basic standard. Think of the correct answer. Normal standard basically means what? Normal standard means the standard that is achievable if normal conditions prevail. Normal conditions means not good, not bad, means nothing abnormal happens. Okay, so therefore that is normal standard. Example, if nothing bad happens in the market, we can be producing say 10,000 units in this year. That is kind of a normal standard. Theoretical standard means the amount or what we can be achieving, assuming everything good happens. Example that there are no downtimes, there are no loss of times, no strikes, nothing. Okay, everything working all fine. We can be producing say 20,000 units in this year. Okay, so therefore that will be theoretical standard. Okay, this is second. Third, expected standard. Expected is attainable. Attainable means achievable. That is, if the workers work properly, how many units they can be producing. That is nothing but expected standard. Okay. And lastly, D, basic standard. Basic standard is basically uh, applicable where the things do not change much. Example, the base price of raw material two years ago was rupees 5 per kg. Now we try to be thinking this material no, does not change much. So therefore let this thing remain as a standard. These standards are mainly useful from a long term perspective because this, these are mainly applicable wherever the conditions do not change much. Now the question that was there, the standard most suitable from control point of view. Control means you have to be ensuring that the cost is not high. Okay. So suppose price of raw materials was supposed to be rupees 5 per kg. Okay. But if I try to be thinking like, you know, the cost of raw materials should have been 5. But I think that my purchase manager no, is a talented guy. He can negotiate with the suppliers like anything. And he can easily bring down the price from 5 to 4.5. This 4.5 will be expected standard. This 4.5 will be expected. This will help him to perform and this will help me to control my cost. So therefore, suppose I gave him the standard. Standard price for you is 4.5. In reality, suppose the actual price that he purchased was 4.6. So therefore, there will be a variance of 0 0.1. This 4.5 is nothing but expected standard. From controlling point of view, we always say that. You should always give expected standards to all your managers. Expected standard means whatever you want them to be performing. In reality, this is the meaning of the term expected standards. Okay. So if they all work properly, what are the standards that they should be achieving? From control point of view, this is always the best kind of a standard that you can be having. So answer over here should be C. That should be the correct answer. Yeah, that's the correct one.